Hiya then folks, welcome to episode 4. Yeah, we've got to episode 4 of Winging It. We're about 3 weeks after we started the project and we're uh, making really good progress. So this episode is where it's going to start getting really good. Where we're onto the mechanical drivetrain. We've, we've basically got that all done now. We're going to show you how we've got there. But on this episode there's going to be none of that 18 malarkey and there's definitely no cooking slots in this one. I think we'll leave the uh, the cooking to the missus, shall we? And as we know, the A team, they were all made up fellas. It's been real messed working on this. So uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little look at what we've been doing. Uh, I will first of all introduce you to, as you'll see, there's a, a chap called Dave, Dave Hull, one of the uh, fellow boaters. He's been really helpful this last week or so. He's uh, kind of designed the coupling that we needed and he's obviously been helping fit it and everything. You'll see him quite a bit in the uh, in the video. You will also see, obviously, we are here on the marina. A lot of it has been filmed here on the marina, and uh, obviously, fellow boaters have been wandering about. And while we've been filming, they've they've been having a look, see what we're doing. So you'll see a few of our neighbours and what have you as well in there. I think it gives you an idea that we are showing it warts and all. We've just had uh, Louise sort of doing a lot of the filming as we've just been wandering about. So uh, you'll, you'll see it. Like I say, warts and all over all, all the bits and bobs. We do ask as well, just bear in mind, we ain't got professional camera equipment, we're not used to filming programmes, we're not great editors and things. It's all about actually getting the electric motor in, all the filming of it and stuff, it's just like an added bonus. So, we're doing as best. You'll see there's an odd bit where we've filmed it portrait rather than landscape. We know we shouldn't and it's just getting used to it all. You will see as well, it is a genuine, we are just making it up as we go along. You'll see as, as some of the film, we're using an axe to hold one bit up. We've got lumps of wood, we're borrowing tools off one of the other boaters. So you can genuinely see we are just winging it. So this, this video is a little bit longer than the others because it's got all the detail and stuff of the, the, the builder getting this mechanical drive training. So we've got the motor, the drive play, the gearbox, the couplings and everything all in place. So it is a little bit longer than the, the other ones. So grab yourself a brew, get a few biscuits, get ready to watch it. So you've got that right here. Yeah. Props right up against the outside of the stern gland. Right, so how big is your... The coupling is basically just that width. By the time that's in, it's not. It's only going to move it a little bit that way. I think that'll be all right. Oh. So if this were moving half around, as it come and take your fingers off, wouldn't it? The only other thing, obviously, I've left these where they were before, but the old coupling I think was slightly right, bigger. Yeah. But I mean, it's not much bigger, it's only maybe 5 mil bigger. Because you're going to get stuff wrapped around yeah. the crop, anything that you get wrapped around it, you've got no chance of getting it out. You need a little bit of a spacing to get a knife right. or whatever. In the shed. Yeah. To, you know to get it off yeah because well obviously now's the time to do it anyway isn't it so. yeah right one thing we have found is seeing as the tight yorkshireman had to buy a new coupling cost 85 quid the new one's actually a little bit narrower than the original one so what that's going to mean is where the gearbox was sat here the gearbox is now too far away from the prop shaft so all these holes that hold the engine mounts are all going to have to be re-drilled 10 millimetres further towards the back of the boat. So that's given me another little job to do. Oh, we love winging it. And this is the bit we've uh, really been waiting to see. This is where it's all happening. Obviously, we can see there, we've got the, uh, the motor connected to the bell housing. And now we've finally got the coupling we've been waiting for. That the coupling there that's fastened onto the motor, onto the splines on the motor, which will then obviously slide onto there with the gearbox on the back, so we can bolt all that up together. And with a little bit of luck, when we spin the motor, it'll spin that coupling 
which will spin that spline which will work its way through the gearbox and spin that coupling which will be attached to the prop so we are all coming together and one good sign that you can see is we're not at the workshop he says laughingly the workshop at home that's actually just the patio we are now down at the marina with the boat so that must mean that we're making progress It's not bottom. It's on bottom. It's on. It's gone in. It's on bottom. That flange. So if I turn that, it's in gear and mm -hmm. actually moves. So if you pull it. Does it off, move when it's in neutral? And that goes the other way. Yeah. Right. I'm gone. Yeah. That's neutral. No. no and, that's movement. Just, and that should just and turn then, and turn. And that's going opposite way. So your gearbox is right. Yep. And we've actually got drive going drive through. through. That's now well onto its blinds at gearbox. Yep. Well onto its blinds at gearbox, so you've got a lot of engagement there. And it's well onto its blinds at the, 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 the actual motor. So we'll take this off then. Yep. We'll measure it. The distance from end of thing to plunge to shaft. Yeah. We'll mark it and we'll grind some flats off. And yeah, then flats. we can put it on and we know that that's it then. And then when you put your flats on, are you gonna put keywords in or no, I'm just gonna put a flats on. Because we don't know how well it's gonna work. All this is all this is for is to test it. Right. Uh, and, and and to know that you're gonna to have to put some real load on it. Yeah. Real load. So what once we get it in and it's all wired up. Run it in gear. Give it a good tidy. You know, we've measured distance from end at coupling to end at shaft. Yep. We're going to take the shaft, the coupling off now. Grind two flats where the grub screws are going to sit onto the shaft. So we've got a bit more purchase, and it allowed it in place. Yep. So and then reassemble. And then reassemble it. Then it's going to fit yeah. every time. Yeah, because now we've got that measurement, we can eat where yeah, we put you it on, you just put, put it in. back to the same point in it. Within a mil, it ain't going to matter. Yeah. So, 39 mil, jobs are good, eh? Winging it. Winging it. <laughs> that's just, that's a drive plate that takes, when you first engage gear, it takes the shock out of it. I see. So, we thought it were a clutch. When we took the old yeah. engine apart, I'd seen that, and as we took it all apart and just chucked things oh, in boxes, I thought, oh, there's a clutch with it. There's, no, there's no plate, though, is there's there? No, there's no, well, no friction plate. Yeah. There's, 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 there's no friction, friction plate. plate, and there's no thrust bearing. Oh. And we were looking at gearbox saying, where I would thrust bearing it, and we realised that the, the gearbox is internally clutched. I see. So, but that's just to give the motor a bit of protection from initial start up. So we've had that's a nice piece of that, isn't it? One yeah. engineer. We've had that. We, so you've done it that, in two parts, haven't it? Yeah, we've had that drawn up uh, and machined this morning. Picked it up this morning, and uh, now we just fit it on there. Sorry so for that. Hundred quid. Alright, yeah. some work there for hundred quid. So he bought it, bought it out, rebated it out. Oh, because we wanted it drilled through for the pin originally, because of the diameter of that, it couldn't get into the whole way through, so he's made it in two pieces and that's threaded into that. Is it? Yeah. So well, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll try and make that for 100 quid. <laughs> yeah. So, what we're going to do to to stop that trying to unscrew itself, we're just going to put a couple of blobs of weld on it. Oh, yeah. Just to Keep well, it in place. Lot of time to do it. No, it? So, but not so much that if you get something stuck in prop that it it can't 
well, prick it off and, and run it motor. You know, we've got sort of like two points of, of safety two, two on there. Trail search, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah angle grinder on it now, isn't it? Yeah, angle grinder on it and uh, there'll be sparks flying. <laughs> but he says he said the machine he said that that was really really hard. Ah. Can't touch it. You can, you can see just where he's, he's started. And they were using a cobalt. Uh, cobalt drill. Not a cobalt. A uh, carbide. All oh, right. Carbide drill. And he says it it started, I, and then just he says it just won't touch, touch it. I've drilled shafts like that. I've ground case hardening flat. Flat. And then gone through with drill. Yeah. Well, he, he couldn't do that because until we'd assembled it all, lined it up where it were on gearbox yeah. and that, he says, I don't touch that. But uh, they'll do it. Yeah. Sure. I think yeah. it, to, to, to test this then, I think that's going to be. I sufficient. mean, if we find that that ends up being the weak point and we are either constantly ripping them or they're not yeah. holding, then obviously. We'll have to look at seeing whether we can yeah. do something else, drill well, it, just put it onto its blinds, but... Like, like Dan says, once you've, once you've ground it, you've got to case hardening. Yeah. Well, I think we'll case hardening be a, a mill. Yeah. A mill at most, a mill at most. Yeah. So once you've got through that, yeah. we can actually drill through it. Yeah. I, bet we, I bet when you've ground that spline off, you'll have got to have through it. Yeah. 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 Uh, These WSOs don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've spent the last two months explaining this to everyone as though I know what I'm talking about, Dan. <laughs> yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to put this motor in batteries and it'll go whizzy whizzy. Yeah, I'll just let everything to water by it. So we've ground it, so the centre of the flat is 10mm from end it shaft. So the grub screws sit nice on to the flat bottom of there. So to get it bang on the other side, drawn a line, centre line, from centre of that spline to pick up because it's odd splined so we'll now be grinding on the top of that spline so it's directly 180 degrees opposite Like I say, I bet with that case hardening, then that will have gone through it, won't it? But that, when you've ground off now, there. So. Now, now you've nipped them on, if you undo it and take it off, there'll be a little circle on the bottom of the flat that I've ground on where grub screws bit into it. Right. Because you've got under it. Hard surface. So if we yeah. are, if that road, we have to take that off and drill through it. You've got a mark. You've got a mark to where. And it should where, not drill through. So that's the case. You so. should drill, once you take that off, you get in to drill through it. So yeah, just double check that. Thirty nine mil, spot on. Jobs are good. Is there any blocks of wood? Can we lift it up so that that's it sat square sat on. straight and that's that's not sat on bench because I think that's what we were struggling yeah. with before. Yeah. Sure. Like bit of angle, 
that weren't ballast in the boat originally. Is that higher still or? Yeah, that's not about right. That's about right. Six bar. Try that left It's because it's bottom of gearbox. No, it ain't actually. Well, I was in it in bench then. No, it's so it's just clear. It might want might be better mm. way. Yeah, I think. Let, just lift it and lift yeah, it let, let's lift it all off because I think we we're fighting against two things here. I wish you had motor over here hanging over it. So that gearbox isn't going to be touching any yeah, part yeah, of yeah. What are you going to put on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's it. Is it all nice? It's going to sit up nice and flush? Yeah, it's, it's flush, so... Oh yeah, I've done that much rest of the motorbike. Dan turns that motor. And you'll just hold it on, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, that's turning the motor. Turning thing gear. Oop. That's a jubbly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you get me from that bike? So let me check this out. Yeah, and the. We're well on to its blinds. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Bolt. Is that that turning all right? Yeah, to turn. Yeah. Uh, turn it, it opposite way. Turn it that way. That's neutral. It's not turning. That's, That's it. Other way. It's turning that way. There you go. Good. Happy days. So we know that's all lined up right then. I think we're going about 15 mil into its blinds. Yeah. Which is I was going to say, you could see it, we're obviously, the way we were holding it, the casing were a good like that distance 15. apart before so it was. We're, we're well onto its blinds. Yeah. We're, not, we're, we're well, well onto its blinds there. Side. And we're well onto its blinds there, so it, it's not going anywhere, that. Not going really anywhere. Spot on. No, it's special to be in those few times, is it? It's not on. No, it's not on. Normally, when you strap something down onto yeah. that lorry, innit? Yeah, it's going yeah. nowhere. That's that. it. You want to move that concrete and we'll. Uh, Where's the Trying to do some work under there. Keep him dry. Engine frame in, gearbox in. Now waiting to try and get the motor in. to clean that then off. Yeah. Wedge some underneath that. Yeah. Because it's all weights on it now. And we don't really want all weight on it. Get that hatchet. Aha! That would be perfect. Let's see if I can come from that side. That's 
third year olds might do more or less, yeah. Yeah, they might need. I think when we put them in before, we bolted them in just loosely, and then as we nipped them up, it pulled them down. But yeah, yeah. right. Not some bolts. I think that needs to go around. Just a frazz. Yeah, it's because yeah. it's up. It's up this it's side. Cotton, so, isn't it? Hold on. See, these okay. bolts aren't tight either, and there is a bit of play in them. You know, these top two here. So. You got a spanner for that? Yeah. Pardon. Drop that, I think this one's a lot higher than yeah. that side. So. Like I said, there is a bit of play in this, this top bracket here. Still sat on this, I want this side wants to go down. Looks like it might be able to do that by hand, as long as it got up there, it's top, isn't it? Yeah. together. Yeah, these are them imperial ones, aren't they? So I need to go and find some more. That's not quite nipped up tight, that one. I'm just This rather boring bit here is just show you some of the bits we've had to go through. As you've seen, we've we've more or less got the motor in place and everything. Then we've realised there's just odd bits we need to tweak and an odd extra bolt here or something like that. So the whole lot's had to come back out and that's to basically do things like, see there, we've had to put another hole in the casing. That lines up to one of those bolts there. Yeah, we've had to re-tap a couple of these outer bolt casings so you can see we've got everything laid out there to do it including my sandwiches so this is why it's, uh, it's never as straightforward as it appears because I said we've kind of got everything more or less in and then these last few tweaks I mean we have to take it all back out but I guess that's the joy of winging it Right then, so uh, over the last day or so we've been doing a lot of tweaking and changing of the bits. Um, looks roughly the same as it did before, uh, but as you'll see we've got things like now we've got the, the proper brackets in the bottom there that uh, are spacing the engine mounts out, so that's all nicely lined up. Um, we took everything back out, realigned all the bell housing, retapped some of the screw, uh, the bolt holes, so that's all nice and tightened up. Added a couple of extra bolts to hold the motor, because obviously we don't want that flying off anywhere while we're uh, in motion. Got the back support all lined up nicely. So now the gearbox and the coupling on there, using the new coupling, the coupling that cost me money, now fits nicely in between there, so it connects up to the prop. What we have done is just a little bit of routine maintenance, really nothing to do with fitting the system, but while we've got the opportunity We've, we took the, the coupling off there, um, new woodruff key housing, new, uh, new cotter pin, put that all back together so it's uh, nice and firm and solid, not wobbling about anymore. Right, we have had to whip it out once more, just for the fun of it again. Basically the way we've got the, uh, the new drive plate mounted onto there, 
the, the grub screw was slipping a little bit, uh, it not got enough purchase. So what we're going to do is just drill a little countersink hole so that the grub screw actually sits into a, a, a responding hole for it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll sort it. These are now sort of small bolts that are actually sort of countersunk into the splines. We've drilled sort of about a five mil recess either side into the splines and that's now bolted on. Good and solid and that should do the job. So it's now a case of let's refit it all again. Slipping beautifully. Oh, we're going to be here for the next two hours, swearing cursing. <laughs> Just this little bit is what we needed. Cover it by the on I think we've done this that many times, I've now by now. We've built it on the tank. Got to know that it went on really easily as well. Oops, we just forgot the. We just forgot one slightly important piece. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. <laughs> <laughs> That's still in gear, isn't it? Yeah, still so got it. it. Now we've got everything on and we're ready to bolt it all in place. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> 
Right then, we think we've now, finally, got it all bolted in with the bell housing and the coupling, all nicely connected and we've got the couplings and everything all in, all trued up, all in a nice straight line. So, we've got the gearbox in gear, so I'll put these pliers on the back of the motor and turn that, we should, see this spinning and if we do, we'll be quite happy. Right set up right. Turning the motor, which is turning the coupling. Now that to me. Okay, yeah. Out of gear. Turning the motor is not turning the coupling. So I think that means we've got all this mechanical drive train. Oh, right, so that's the end of episode 4. As you can see, we've made great strides now down this project. We've got all that mechanical drive training, so we've got the motor in place, we've got it coupled to the gearbox, we've got the gearbox coupled to the, uh, the shaft for the propeller. So from the mechanical point of view, barring the inevitable tweaks that we're going to have to make, we've, we've pretty much nailed that bit. So we've done fantastic there. As you'll, see, we've, we've, as you'll see, we've shown you sort of a lot of the video that is just as it was filmed. It's got the hiccups, the changes that we've had to do, any alterations, the bits where it weren't quite going to plan. Not that we really have a plan anyway, but so you, you are seeing it as we're doing it. We're not trying to edit it out and make it all look super professional and look like we know what we're doing because we are making it up as we go along. Must say a big thank you to everyone who's been involved overall with the project so far and especially on this episode. Like I say, you've, you've seen Dave the, uh, one, on, from one of the neighbouring boats. Uh, Dave Ull, he's, he's been uh, great this last week or so designing that coupling and help get it all fitted. There's also uh, one of the other chaps you saw on there, Dan, from one of the other boats. He, uh, he was uh, a bit of lifting and shifting for us and helping out. Louise, who's Dave's husband, she did some of the filming for me. She's just been following us around wherever we've gone. Fortunately, she didn't follow us into the toilet. You didn't really want to be seeing that bit. So, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's done a great job of filming it, and she's done some of the editing as well for me. So, uh, thank you to Louise for that. Obviously, I must say a big thank you to Simon as well, although we've not really seen much of him in, in, in this episode. Uh, obviously, he is kind of working behind the scenes on the wiring. Um, also, you saw in there, there was a little bit of uh, Dave the lock keeper. He, uh, he came and gave us a, a little helping hand and a few words of wisdom, which hopefully should help us along on there. And I must say a big thank you as well to Dawn, who's currently holding the camera, my partner, because she puts up with me, helps out when she can, keeps me fed with bacon sandwiches, which is the most important bit. And as I said, she's filming this bit now. Say hello, Dawn. Hello, Dawn. There we go. So, yeah, moving on to the next episode. That should be as we get cracking on with the wiring. Uh, Simon is now currently just working on getting the, the bits of wiring together, the batteries and things, so that we can start wiring all that in. Like we said, we're going to have 16 batteries all together, but I think we're just wiring up eight to start with, just to, to test the theory. So we'll see Simon getting on with that. So, what I'd like to say is, if you'd like to uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, don't cost you anything to subscribe, all that means is you get notifications etc when we do put new videos on so you can keep following the project all the way to its uh, to its conclusion when we start heading off up the, uh, up the canal 
So yeah, give it a like, subscribe. If you follow us also, we're on Facebook, Twitter, etc. I'll try and put the links in the comments or descriptions below so that you can follow us on there. If you follow us on Facebook as well, what we do occasionally do is we've, we've gone live a couple of times as we're getting to the, the interesting bits, so you kind of get a little sneak preview on there. But like I say, I'll put the, put the links in the comments so you can, uh, you can join us on them as well. And any comments or ideas you've got, as you've as you're seeing us do it, anything you think might help us along, or any queries or questions, by all means stick them in the comments. I do try and answer all the uh, all the comments that come up on there. But from me, the tight Yorkshireman, while well, we're trying to do our poor man's electric boat, we'll see you next time as we carry on winging it. <laughs>